I'm, it's World Travel Market 2009. I'm on the India stand, more specifically on the Chhattisgarh tourism stand. I'm with Mr. Subrat Sahu, who is the managing director of Chhattisgarh tourism, and with Mr. Brijmohan Agrawal, Minister of Tourism for Chhattisgarh. Very nice to see you both here. Uh, first question I'd, I'd like to ask you, Subrat, is Chhattisgarh is perhaps not as well known as other destinations within India. I know it's the newest 28th state of India. Would you like to just explain to me where it is located within India and what its yeah. main attractions are? Uh, Chhattisgarh is the newest state, definitely. It's in, uh, located in central India, just east of Madhya Pradesh. In fact, it's bifurcated just nine years ago. And it boasts of uh, great uh, pristine forests, uh, some of the oldest tribes of the world, and some ancient limestone caves and uh, history which has hitherto been unknown. We have only recently started the excavations, so we, uh, we are trying to learn more and more about what was unknown so far. I think the USP is that this place is unexplored, wild, and promises a lot of adventure and thrills for anyone who's interested in that line. So you mentioned forests. I believe, am I right in saying that Ch Chhattisgarh contains something like 70% of all the forests you are all, within India? You, you are right. It's almost uh, two thirds of the area is under forest cover. So if I were to come to Chhattisgarh, which airport would I probably fly into from an uh, international perspective? Uh, any outsider traveler would uh, might land at Delhi or Mumbai or Calcutta or even Hyderabad. And there's a direct connecting flight on a daily basis to Raipur, which is the state capital. Right. The flight is just uh, one hour long, so it doesn't take much time. And after that, the wild and the exciting skipids become you. And so obviously you've come to World Travel Market because you'll recognize that the UK trade uh, is, is, is valuable to you. What message yes. have you got to the UK trade and how are you developing your links with the UK trade? Oh, yeah. UK is definitely uh, one of our focus points. Uh, along with Western Europe, we would like to promote uh, the state in this area for the tourists of this area. Uh, there are two uh, particular factors that guide us. One is that uh, people from here are uh, fun-loving, adventure and thrill-seeking, which we definitely intend to offer. And the other variety of tourists that uh, interests us is those who want to be, uh, tread the, beaten, uh, the unbeaten path. Uh, people who would like to you know, strike out on their own, uh, go to places which uh, human beings have rarely been to uh, spend time with uh, with tribes that are that have a 10,000 year old history. Uh, spend time in caves uh, where uh, even hardly an insect lives. <laughs> so uh, we have something very thrilling: uh, the the call of the unknown. But in, ter in terms of tourism infrastructure, can the traveller to Chhattisgarh uh, expect the customary levels of? of uh, good accommodation that one can find elsewhere in India? Yeah, uh, but the, I would like to add a qualifier to that. Uh, the best of accommodation is available in Chhattisgarh, but then they are limited to the cities and the towns. Uh, if you are really wanting to strike it out in the wild, then you will have to put up with the uh, put up with the uh, tented accommodation. Sure, but that's part of the attraction. But that's in the part first of the attraction place. and yes. that's part of the adventure. Sure. So if you want to try out the unknown, you have to be prepared a little <laughs> bit for the unknown also. Sure. But I assure you there's no danger. Everything is harmless and uh, people there are very friendly, very hospitable and they'll make any outsider even feel at home within a couple of days. So that should not be you're, you're certainly making Chhattisgarh sound very attractive and I'm sure the business will go very well for you in 2010. We hope so too. We expect to double our tourist arrivals from Western Europe within two years. Fantastic. Mr. Sahu, Mr. Agarwal, thank you very much for the time you've given us this afternoon. Best of luck for the rest of the show. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.